Hey guys, it's another year, Combo Breaker 2019 Skull Girls Top 8. I'm here with Alex Pye, and of course my name is Kai. What do you think about all this? I'm just excited to keep the launch party going. I, it is, it's, to have launched for so long. And it's only been, what, seven years? Yeah, for We're so, still going. For such an expansive launch. I'm always uh, launching. Yes. And this is going to be a crazy Top 8. Just looking at the brackets, People who have won this before, they're all in loser's bracket. This And that's crazy. Absolutely. Like, we have, what, three EVO champions? You, you, you want to know what, what I think tells the story about this? If you look at the loser's match right yes. there, that's the grand finals from last year. Yes. Swift Fox Dash and Sonic Fox were the grand finals of last year's Combo Breaker, and one of them ain't making it. And one thing I want to do, shout out to Rat Baby for knocking Sonic to losers in the first place. He did that in pools. Sonic has been fighting this entire time just to make it this far. Right. He very barely got by Fuzzy Snucks. Like, that was one drop that was combo. Very close. That was one drop combo from Fuzzy yeah, from Rat him really being in up. here instead of Sonic. Bam, and that was something. I mean, it, that was yeah. really cool to see. It was I mean, insane. hard fighting. No kidding. I believe we're starting on winner's side, though. Yeah, we got a team kill about to happen. Yeah, we've got West Coast fight, a PNW yeah, assassination. PNW. So there Two can only be players. one, right? Like there can only be one. Sev and Dango. Sev, for a long time, quit playing Skullgirls. Oh yeah, she stopped a having fun yeah. when the game was getting more fair. <laughs> right. And then all of a sudden, she's like, you know what? I actually like fair play. I'm going to start playing again. Right. No, Sev had to go through her own little metamorphosis yeah, like, of how she derived from her fighting game. Yeah. Because when she started in that 2011-2012 oh, fight, she did and she all was and she the BS. All those old duels with Duck. It was about touch of death. And yeah. just the most ridiculous, I'm not going to let you play. And as the game became more and more fair, God, I she remember definitely, her parasol. Oh yeah. God, it was disgusting. And it was it was it was horse it was horse hockey, if you yes. will. Yes. It was horse baloney. That's I, a, she still plays a team where she tries to let you play as little as possible. But, but it's, you're it's forced to fairest, play fair. It's the fairest version of yes. the, I'm not gonna let you play. Like, and I'll be honest, like the Bayo Banshell is both really fun to play and really fun to watch. And Absolutely. really hard to fight against. Yeah. Oh no. Like when you do the command grab with A Train, whew, on the other side, Dango, he runs a really wonky team. Like, you don't really see a lot of Peacock and Pain Wheel together. No, but, you're absolutely right. Like, he found a way to make it work because he just likes the characters, which, and that's how you should play the game. No, you should. And it, you know what? I got to give hats off because Sev's style has always been super upsetting to me because I just die. Yes. But the fact that she came back and said, you know what? I can make fairness work for me. It, it's That's off to her. Yeah. All right. Let's Ooh, actually talk block. about some Skullgirls. My bad. All right. We're into this. Yeah. And like, Dago's taking a little bit extra lead. He's got these hits. He goes for throw air and it's connecting. Yeah, I think he's going to snap in Beowulf. Oh, oh like, other side shenanigans. Might out shenanigan himself. Ooh, in the corner. Oh, he gets girl. both. That was tragic for Sev. And she needs to find a way to get that life back for double. Oh, Sev's oh. got no life! Ooh, he gets a second meter oh, though. No. Oh, with, but with he drops the, it. With the drop and pick up. And Sev's down to bad. just one character. Yeah, with five meters at this point, this is an uphill battle. Like, Big Man yeah. does not fight the zoners particularly well. It's much better since the uh, parry window got expanded. A little bit. But yeah. it's still. This is still. You know, this yeah. Is, it's still what it is. You can't get away from the fact that you're as tall as a screen and projectiles ahead right from your face. Yeah. Like, that. Oh, an elephant never Whew. forgets. There it is. And that was about a 90% combo. Admittedly, it was five meters, but. Like, it's not easy. Sev really needs to win the early fight with Beowulf. And he does fight Peacock well. Like, Beast Cannon, it lets him get into the right areas. Ooh. Nice hit. Here comes the set play. Yep. Two. 
feel like there's a there's like a, a pharmaceutical commercial in there. Yeah. Do you have do you suffer from having to play neutral? <laughs> I do find it interesting <laughs> that both Sev and Sage play Beowulf band shells, but they have very different play styles. Like you see you see Sage go a lot more for Whoa, the, the double hard grab set. Ooh. That is technically blockable, but really hard yeah, to do. Yeah, technically blockable in the same way that anyone can become president. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can do it. Honestly, mash and try and get lucky. All right, this is where Dango gets to really go nuts, I w is what I would say. Hatred install normally lets you get away I with a lot of things. Unfortunately, armor doesn't beat grabs. Get in the corner. Oh, Ooh. hey, would you block? I don't know if that nice. was a drop oh. or not. Oh, that did hit. I couldn't tell if Dango was holding up forward or if he had started blocking yet. Man. Uh, All right. Dango needs to... I disagree with going for resets. Like, right now... No, this is not a reset time. Yeah, no. he should go for the longest combo possible and just let Band recover some health. Yes. Let like, the clock hit out a little bit, because if you eat one mash, you're done. Yeah. Like, this is working out really well for him. He's buying time for Big Band. What the heck was that reset? hey -o! That was so smart! SpaghettiOs. Like, he gets to kill double. He got back, like, a, half of Big Band's health. health. And we got that red recover. Oh, oh, there it all goes. Drains yeah. like a sieve. Hey, get hit! Uh, I'm, it worked By out. By the way, take him. this. I disagree with his choice, but it worked out. So who am I to argue? <laughs> right. I'm behind the booth instead say, of up there. I, I'm not playing, so obviously the smart than me on this. Oh! Ooh! Big man being spat saved yep. him. Big man saving me a little bit. Oh! That would have oh. been so godlike, but it was godlike in reverse. That was such good armor. Because Ban can break that armor with beat extent because he gets the extra hits if you shake the controller. Like, it's a timpani, or not a timpani, it's, it's a symbol. It like, is, in fact. You just shake that. There's a lot of hair shaking going on right now on top stage. <laughs> There's a lot of hair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can't talk that much. We no, got some too, say, but... But everybody behind the commentating booth, everybody on stage right now, we're all long hair gang right now. All right, so Dango definitely sitting on a big old lead. Seth's so feeling the pressure now. Ooh. The set play's not gone in his favor. The neutral's been uh, killing him a little bit. Yeah. Skedaddle, skedoodle, if you will. Like... Nice, but here it comes. Let's get all a clean right. hit. Nothing. This is where There's a tag. He doesn't punish the tag, unfortunately. But he gets it right back yeah, in there. He's holding let's start the corner. Again. That's the important thing. And I'm starting to see Sev start going for more of uh, hard knockdown. Get out of here. Yeah, snaps, getting the incoming. Oh, ho, ho. I was on the other side the whole time. Oh. Yeah, that big man jump fierce is so hard to deal with on incoming. You don't know where it's going. This was really good setup by Sev. She was making sure oh, to be no, in position to get the chair. What? What? That was what? such good spacing. How is this not possible? No, it's the same with like Big Band. SSJ runs out of its invincibility really quick. Like it gets the invincibility on like frame zero, but it runs out on like frame two. If you space it right, you can throw it. And it's the same with Pinwheel Super. I refuse. Like, it's I refuse. hard to do. I utterly refuse. I refuse. Like, like I don't think Sev did it on purpose. No, that was every ten. Sev's really good, but come on. All right, good reactions. Like secret. Oh, you were behind me. Feed extend is good. Oh, that was a crazy tag. He's losing Beowulf for it, but it's mid-screen, so you don't get the super good mix-up on incoming. All right, two characters apiece. Unfortunately, Dango sitting on a little bit of a life deficit. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, even... Oh! oh get hit. Seb, unfortunately, can't get the pickup with her team. Oh, a little bit of a flicker. Oh, that was a smart bang. It's essentially impossible to punish a landing DHC, but you're very rarely plus. Oh, that was clean. 
Even Dango is acknowledging how clean that finish yeah. was. Dango gave an approving hair wave. Yeah. Just now. <laughs> <laughs> and then a little grimace as he stretches his back. <laughs> I was going to say, Dango has the... He does what we can't, which is acknowledge people with hair waves. Yes. It's his own language. <clears throat> I feel like Seb is winning at round start every single time, but never actually yeah, able it, to capitalize. Yeah, it definitely comes apart, and that is owing mostly to Dango's intensely good neutral. Yeah. Oh, nice, Ooh. but this character's done for. Get out of here. No more zoning. I am seeing Seb go a lot more for the body splash, and that gives you a hard knockdown when you spend the height meter. And I think that's helping Yoink. her a lot. Yoink! I wonder why she didn't go. Very nice hit. Let's see what we can do with this. We need at least a reset and putting him back in the corner. Oh, we're just doing the set play. It's all good. Here's a reset. And jumps right out of it. SSJ Ooh, with pressing smack buttons. Him. This is at least two thirds of Devil's Health Bar. Like, fully unscaled hatred install. That gets you, what, infinite super armor? <laughs> I don't know that it's actually infinite, but it's it like certainly more feels than like it's feasible it. to get through, right? Yeah. And it looks like Dango's going to take a character here. Yep. Yep. All right, two to two. Dango sitting on the deficit again. Sends in a little bit of a lead. And we get the hit. But it hits oh. him in the back. That's so bad for him. Oh, no. That is all she wrote on this one. I think there's no way he's coming back from this. Prove me wrong. Like, the only good thing about that is that Seb mistimed the arm super, so she didn't get the corner. So at least Dango has a chance until he gets grabbed. <laughs> They're both yeah, laughing. But, hey, but we got smiles up on stage, yeah. and that's really what's 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 good. Uh, we're all friends. Yeah. But afterwards, we're probably going to be playing casuals. I was going to say it's so. going to go pretty late. All right, round start call. It doesn't work. Ooh. Doesn't punish. Bang. Bang is super hard thrown. to punish. It is. It's it's tight, and you got to make the right call. Ooh, like, oh, doesn't get much off ooh. that. Oh, thank God. There's a lot of no that. punishing going on. Yeah. A lot of respect being shown, honestly. That's where yeah. it's coming from. Oh, 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 oh Can he get oh. the snap? No. It's so hard on heavyweights to get the snap off of the grab. Very nice. Put him down. In the ooh. corner? In the trash right. it goes. All right. Oh, he loves. Oh, that setup with Beowulf has been working all day. Yeah. The, the hitbox on the chair is such that you can basically be on uh, right in the corner and still hit him on incoming. It's a little bit ambiguous too, based on the timing of the throw. Yeah. I really actually like this. How Sev is going to take out Painwheel. I don't think Painwheel has been the big problem for, her, but the DHC has been a big problem for. Her. Uh, spent the meter on. Didn't uh, need to. I was but say, I think that was more of an input before it even happened. Yeah, that was. I. Don't think I'm gonna kill, so we're just gonna do it right away. Right. Ooh, oh, yikes! All right, Dango gets both. Oh, oh no! 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 Pick up, please! Oh! Oh no! Big Ben! Always the protector, that Big Ben. That was a breath away from tragedy. And instead, Dango's gonna get the kill on double. Oh no! no. Interesting. I. I think he could have killed, but he wanted to get as much health as possible that out of here. Is... Yeah, I... Oh, man, I thought he was going to actually get the uh, big bad there. Yeah. Is Danko going to go for another snap? No. Just take the damage. Oh, wow. wow. I didn't think it was close wow. enough for that. Oh, and he gets the air reset. Oh, no. That's not safe. But he gets it anyway. Seb needs to snap right now. Oh, Big Band is recovering a lot of health. In a goes! This is like two touches away for both characters, or for both players. Oh, man, big old hit there. Oh, oh that right was so smart! It. How do you armor the armor? Who watches the watchers? I think Sam's got this. This is it right here. Let's grab one more time. Oh, she's going for the penguin. Uh, two, three. <laughs> both oh, players. Oh, man. For what it's worth, both players motion with the penguin. Yes. I, but again, this that was a, that was an unfortunate team kill, but you can tell. Yeah. Great friends. They've been playing Skull Ghost together for don't a long time. Don't they live together? I, I don't know if they I currently do or they have. They basically cohabitate for the last 
six years or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like there's the Vampire Savior slash Skullgirls house right. up in the Pacific Northwest. I can't remember if they're still living together or not. They live together in spirit, if not in, yeah. in reality. So yeah, like I said, they, they live in each other's hearts. They've been friends for so long. Oh, yeah. So that, that match is just another fun Skullgirls set for them. Yeah, and it's not like I'm, Dango isn't out. He was on winner's side. He's going to get another chance. But we've got the next winner's side match. Liam, one of the crew behind Skullgirls Mobile. Yes. He's part of their team. And you want to know a fun story? Right now you're looking at that man's hitbox shirt. <clears throat> this is how he acquired the hitbox shirt. His hitbox died today. It died last year, too. It died today anew. Yes. And he was beside himself trying to find a solution. Replace this part. Replace that yeah. part. Pray. Find, find God. Oh. He couldn't do anything to make it work. And the helpful guys over at Hitbox said, you know what? We've got a Hitbox for you. Put oh, on his t-shirt, wow. rep us, and you can play with this. That's super nice. Because like, I really was cool talking with him right before Top 24 started. And he was running around like, I replaced the buttons. Things aren't working. People were loaning him their hitboxes because that's just what he's been playing on for like three years now, at least. When you're that good, you can just ask people for hitboxes. Yes. Yeah. Hey, give me a hitbox. All right. On the other side, we got Liam. He was, er, Rabble. He was top eight last year too, right? Yes, he was. He was one of those Dark Horse ones. I, yeah. I actually, I, he, I would love to see him take this whole thing because I think like, he is one of those people he, that is really, really good, but no one yeah. says, oh yeah, he'll win it. But I think he could. I, he's been leveling up over the last like two, three years. He's been leveling up crazy Severe. hard. Yeah, so Beowulf was his big showcase last year. Yes. But he's introduced Pain Wheel into his game this yeah. year. Yeah, the Pain Wheel I think has made the big difference. Because like the Bayo Band shell, eh, whatever, a lot of people do that. You introduce the Pain Wheel to it, there's only like two or three people who try and make that shell work. Like, there's a surprising amount of synergy. It's just that not a lot of people have done the experimentation and done the lab work. No. Because let me tell you, both Painwheel and Beowulf take a lot of lab time. Yes, not, a lot of people not willing to do the quick maps. Yeah. Oh, man, that, that fly cancel reset was so hard to see. Yikes! That fly under to get the corner was so smart. Oh, no. Oh. I don't think Liam actually wanted to get that catch. I think... Yeah, that might have been on accident. Yeah, I think Painwheel is just a little too close to the ground. Because... I'll be honest. I like Robo. She's not good on her own. Like, she just has no damage on her own. Unfortunately, yeah. you are correct. Oh, wow, that hit from downtown. Man, Rabble made this one look very definitive. Yeah. Like, Parasol fights Beowulf reasonably well, but... Like, he lost a... Liam just lost a couple scrambles, and that was it. Yeah. Because after that, he just never found his footing when Double came in, and Robo has really bad defense. Like Unfortunately. The, that's just what it comes down to. Like, that's why a lot of people who run Robo don't run around point. Like, no. she's a very good point character, except you have to win the round start with her, and that's really scary. I mean, it's just one of those, uh, it's just one of those things. You want full screen beams, you're going to have to be uh, full th somewhere. You know? Yeah. Something else has got to suffer for you to have that. Yeah, that's why a lot of players have gone to starting, like, Parasol. Oh, nice run Ooh. under. Didn't even get a chance to land on his feet. Kind of interesting. Liam actually taught me the optimal parasol combo about two weeks ago, and I've yet to see him do it all weekend. Oh, he's gonna convert! Yes, he will. Very Ooh. nice. Picks the it right teardrop back up saved the him, but yes. didn't keep blocking. And he's gonna build enough meter here. Oh, Ooh. unfortunately, red burst is there. Gets the wow! Wow! That was a sick read. And he loses the corner, but whatever. Get the kill. Hey, jump into my loving arms. Ugh. Boom. Ooh, stayed on the ground. That's always the thing with A-Train. A lot of people are lazy with their stand blocks and will up back instead of just stand blocking. And that's where pay, uh, where Big Band will just crush you. Take the shot. Oh, that's going to lose. Anytime you DHC, you can the other player can react. And what a let's go to the corner. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, you threw too early. Let's do the air break. 
Get back over here. Oh! That was disgusting. I, I didn't feel, know that was possible. I feel gross. Somebody hand me a moist towelette so that I can get all of this gunk off me. I actually thought the only way to confirm off the instant overhead with Big Band was to do a super. I didn't know you could drop kick to confirm it. <laughs> like, that's crazy. What? Rebel is just running a train on Liam. What? And Liam, like, obviously he's winner's side top eight. He's no slouch. And he's just getting run over. Liam is not a joke, and Rabble Flaggers is, he's, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but Rabble is putting Liam over a barrel right now. This is interesting. He's going to Robo on point. There's one really risky thing Robo can do to get the range he needs, but Beowulf can counter it with a hard read. Doesn't look like Rabble went with a hard read. If you do the anti-air super at round start, all right. It beats so a lot. This time Liam is taking that early momentum. Let's see if he can keep this going throughout the round. He doesn't yeah. need a turn on like this. He needs this moment right here. Excellent reset he can kill here. Yep. Let's do it. Robo does very little damage until she spends meter. And then she does a lot of damage. Alright, so he he definitely he's he's trying to pull himself off, off there. He's trying to stand up straight again. Like, I would not have guessed that the way for him to find his feet was to switch to Robo on point. point. Robo. Like, I could we got a little Liam double. chant out in there. We know what the crowd wants to oh, see. Everybody oh, loves nice. Liam. Was not watching his feet, and we're gonna go to Combo Town once again. Where's the reset? He parries what it. What a parry! That was so good. He knew it's a lot harder nice. to down parry nice than reset. up parry. Let's get back in the corner. We'll see where Flaggers goes. Oh no! He, I think he meant to air yeah. break there. Yeah, I think he just dropped it. That's tragic. What a good armor. He gets a combo if he wants it. Yep, he, he does. all the way. And let's see where it is. I Tries actually, to get it. Oh, ooh. hey, nice. All right, we're back to full screen. I think I went a level three there, if I'm being honest. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I would have just let that. Oh, I forgot. He gets the combo yeah. off of that. Yeah, you forgot. Like, I so did I. Like, I was saying, like, he gets the combo off of super like, That's easy. weird. Why would he do that? Safe? Yes. And Rabble Flagger's looking like he's about to get put down for one game, finally. That Parasol Supers, not great, except for that level three. Oh, no, that was almost there. One more on his hit, and that's all oh, it's going to take. Oh, no. Why did he press a button? He crouched medium kick for some reason. And, but that's going to be it. OK. OK. Thank the stars above. Thank the goddess. Liam lucked out there. Like, I don't know what he was thinking when he pressed that low forward, but it might have just been a missed uh, input. Like, this that, is a new controller for him. I was so. going to say, there's a, I don't know, man. Like, the, uh, being an inch or a millimeter off of where you thought it was might have been yeah. what happened. I, like, I, maybe he meant to push block and he just bat fingered? I don't know. Could have been. But that, that, there was no way he made that call intentionally. Something oh, happened wrong. Yep. Dangle, or Rabble went for what I was calling. You do oh the anti air grab right away. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Robo. Whoa! Punish, and the yes. punish is there. I, Not looking good into the trash it goes. We're gonna get Robo back out here. Nice tech, but the hit is ooh. there. No pick up of that combo gets dropped. Last chance, and you jumped right into it. Good night, sweet princess. Oh, but of course, oh, a little too early. Dead. Yeah, I'm a little too early on that one. Uh, a lot of chip damage here. Yeah, this is really unfortunate for Rabble. Oh, be what? He picked Ooh. up the chair to cancel the recovery on that, of course, armored crouch heavy punch. Very nice move there. And this is not looking good for Liam. Yeah. Because this is one dead double if he wants to do it. Yep. yep. Boom. Spend there he goes. Tombstone. Throw? Yes. Oh, nice tech, but it hardly ends up mattering. He gets the throw immediately thereafter. And with reset, there's Oof. the low. Unfortunately, you can only block so long. He is just fully in the blender, getting tenderized, pulped, if you will. Oh, yeah. long again. And this is the wrap. Ooh. Uh oh. Ah, that was yeah. wasteful. He should have level one. Yeah. He wanted to go for the flash kill. Yeah. I understand. Like, you're up. You're on stage. You really want to drive home? I'm here now. Like, 
Because last year, I remember he came in on loser side, and like nobody was really giving him the time of day. No. Uh, it, uh, it, <clears throat> speaking like, speaking of decisions you shouldn't make in games on stage, like can we please talk about what we saw in the top twenty-four with Psychopath oh blowing, God. blowing. Blowing the game by trying to go for a flashy reset level three super. That hurt my soul. I was actually I was sitting next to somebody who had just picked up Skullgirls like a week ago, and it was like, why did he try and throw there instead of doing like just super and kill? Like he wanted to be fancy. Because psychopath wants the level three grab. Like I know it feels good he to land. He does it. He does it in tournaments. He does it in pools. He does it in casuals. And it's really cool. But that was going to kill. That was yeah. going to kill. He would have been up two games to one if he hadn't dropped that combo. Like he would be in wing seat right now if he would have done that. If he would have spent the meter correctly. But he wanted to be cool. And it allowed Wing to come back. Wing, and Wing is carried so, the momentum. No, that's the problem. Psychopath has become so good. Honestly, he has gone from being. I remember when he was the online scrub. He was an online scrub, and then he was a gimmick guy, and then he was like, "Oh, my wrinkle is I have the the hitbox within the shoebox." Like it was, it, it was ridiculous. But then he just put in all the time and effort, and became really good. And he was about to beat Wing. Wing is too good to be doing that against. Wing right, got second. Two yeah. years ago. Let, let's get back to uh, the There's pressure. a reason just, that he's in top eight right now. I'm just so mad at him. I'm so mad at him. I'm actually kind of interested. Speaking of Wing Zero and how you're not supposed to sleep on him and make dumb calls, like trying to freaking level three kill him, Wing Zero just took a character off to kill Sage in, in a mere 13 skull seconds. Uh, it's <clears> easy when it's solo versus oh trio. Oh my. Does he get the corner? Goodness. Yes. Boom. Oh, 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 oh. I like how everybody on their double snaps have been going for all the super easy double snaps. They're not even trying to do the fancy or even like the optimal ones. We're just going to do stuff that we know works. Yo, oh. and that is a wrap level three. Let's do it. Yep. Oh, okay, why not? <clears throat> he didn't even need to spend the meter. Sage, I know, has been going hard in Skullgirls lately. Last year, he was really disappointed with himself because he's been putting time into so many games right. that he just <clears throat> hadn't got enough time in Skullgirls. Right, and here's the thing, if you, if you're not aware of Sage, <clears throat> Sage has a job and that's playing video games and Skullgirls is not a, a, pay, a money game these days, which means that if he wants to play it, he's having to give up time from all the money games. So unfortunately last year he didn't put in the time, he played it, didn't do particularly well yeah, for, he his, lost for, his, his for his standards. He's an evil winner. Right, for his standards, and he was really not very happy with himself. And he decided he was gonna make sure to, to, to separate some more time for Skullgirls. Oh yeah. And it really shows that he's he's um I, I don't know if he's top form sage like no, in, this in the good old top days. Form, but, but he's, he's close he's a, to it. He's a lot more into it and clean and he's feeling positively about it too. I see him at least three times a week on Steam practicing online. Yeah. Like he's not even looking for games. He's just sitting in training mode. Because I'll talk to him. I'm like, hey, do you want to practice? No, I'm just sitting in training mode. I want to make sure everything is good. Right. And that's the thing, like Skullgirls was never like a you know, I said money game. Skullgirls was never a money game. Yeah. But he gained a job playing money games. Yeah. After you know, it, it, it just the timing of, of how his career is going made yeah. it so Skullgirls fell off a little bit for him. But now he's back into it and he's feeling pretty good. He's managed to make this uh, pretty pretty close here. Yeah. He's finally got Wing Zero on uh, the clean hit. Let's see where it is. No, oh, he tries to get a little bit of that wall action. Doesn't happen. I think he was trying to do that instant overhead drop kick again. Nice, good hit. Ooh. He's got three meters here, so he can actually I get some decent. Oh Ooh. no! And oh, he says, oh, that was oh. a good button. Hum, hum. Level three, just do it, just do it. Just yeah, just do take it. the damage. Ah! Like, he can't kill, but he needs one touch now. Yeah, one touch is what, that's what you get. You get into the one touch territory because you can build a meter here. It's easy. He can even, oh, Ooh! yeah. He's been really good at interrupting Wing's pressure with jabs. Like, yeah. most of his team doesn't have great standing jabs. Yeah. Uh, Big Band being the exception. A lot of people think that, you know, um, honk horns are not real musical instruments, but I think Sage has proven everybody wrong. Oh, no, they make music. <clears throat> yeah. Sometimes it's sweet chin music, but it's music. Yeah. All right, so of course, what's really the story of this one is that Wing is really freaking good, and that ratio will kill any character he touches. Yeah. This is eating that point Beowulf alive, and there is the kill. Yeah, you only need two touches if it's solo versus trio. 
Sometimes it's easier with certain characters, but any solo only needs two touches. I will say I'm kind of surprised he doesn't try, that Wing doesn't try using his parasol. Because I know he does have a parasol, and it's really <clears throat> handy to have that to fight Big Man. It absolutely is. But I, you know what? I think, I, I think there's worth in going with what your, your gut, what your, what your plan is, you know? That's true. Like, I know he prefers playing solo when he can. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's just a piece of me is like, you know what? This is one of the few oh, times he can no. counterpick. Snap? Oh, he doesn't have meter. I wonder if he's going to snap now. Yeah. There we go. On half a life just bar. In time. And of course. Oh. Sage couldn't get the side change. You only get a combo off that with a side change or the really good symbol. But that's a really hard link. Because I don't think Sage wants to fight this match. Nice. Too much. Reach out and touch somebody. Oh, no. Triangle been... misses, and there's a the punish for the kill. I, uh, that is so unfortunate. That's the second time that Sage has dropped the it OTG. Yes, it has happened. I wonder, I wonder what's making him miss time at. Because that's usually a pretty easy link. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just pressure. Because I know, like, he was really wanting to do well in Skullgirls this year. Like, yeah. he was telling everybody. He was tweeting about it. Yeah. So maybe maybe he's feeling the pressure. Yeah, and it, it's so strange to think that because Sage is normally not a player that gets outside of his own zone, but the last few years especially. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what, what do you I, say? The man has, the, like I said, the man's got a job. That takes up time, and so he, he feels like he's being pulled in multiple directions. Yeah. This passion game of his, Skullgirls, that he really enjoys, now, in the, for the first time in reality, I think he both is playing well, but also feels a little bit of external pressure. Yeah, and I don't, like, it's funny to say, I don't think it helps that having a roommate as Sonic Fox, <laughs> like, Sonic Fox does the same thing that Sage does, where they just play games they like. Right. And Sonic is better able to stay good at all the games he likes. <clears throat> Correct. I mean, the, it, it, you can obviously tell by how many games Sonic Fox wins, how much money he's won in tournaments, yeah. all the accolades he's achieved over the last few years. He's clearly a world-class uh, 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 cyber athlete, if you will. Oh, that was so good. Wow. And again, that yes. was good. Oh, no, do it again. Oh, I just, I was, oh, he yeah. didn't have the meter, but he can heavy, stand heavy punch that man. Yeah. There goes the character. Like, there are a handful of characters that can punish Airwolf on reaction. Not all of them can, but... The twins can, Philly and Fuqua, uh, Squiggly can, and I think that's it. All right. This is where the benefit of having a team comes in. You get nice. to do get unsafe all that things. Red life out of there. Two characters, this is very possible right now. All right. Sage needs, I think. Nice. Get the one foot. more. One more reset. Where's it at? Oh, he's just going to go for it. He's just going to use the meter. I agree yeah. with this. I agree with this. Yeah, I agree with this. It's just not going to kill. It's unfortunate. But he's going to build meter in no time at all. Yeah. Oh! oh! What a read! Like, I, I think what Sage was going for, he was trying to get that third meter. Because if he would have gotten the third meter, that would have killed. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. That puts Sage on the board. I think that's going to help him a lot. He does... He plays well with momentum. Like... Once he gets that first win, he feels a lot more comfortable in his play. He sees right. what to do. Like, I'm, It's not like he's. this is new to him. He knows how to play the game. He just needs to get into the groove. Very nice. First hit goes to Sage. Let's see what he can do with it. Where is the ow? There it is. Reset opportunity. No, he's just going to go for the set play. Yeah. Oh, he. Oh. That really stinks. That yeah. really stinks. I don't think he was expecting that burst. <laughs> No, no. Because I know Sage prefers to go for the body splash. Like, he wants to get that hard knockdown. Oh, my God. And this really sucks. That one moment turned things around for him so much. They finally yeah. get to return to neutral. Let's see who can achieve that hit. And it's wing zero. He's looking very strong. That life bar says he does not want to give up game five. No. <clears throat> and this is another character. I am... I'll tell you this what. This is going to be really this hard. This is extremely difficult, even in a one on one where you got the same life, not to mention the ratio that's, and he gets a hit on incoming. God, that sucks. Jeez, oh, Pete, he doesn't fall for the burst setup, but he parries. Can't go at it. No honk honk. It's blocked. 
gets in there, he gets responded, but responded nothing, gets put back in the corner. There's it, and he All gets right. hit. Here's combo time. Let's Wing see needs one is. more reset. Yep. Throw? And yeah. there's a throw. This should kill. Like, yep. he should be able to do a chain to build. Oh, but he dropped it. Dropped it. All right, one Sage has a chance. Yeah. Like, he's got level five. That yeah. does a grip. And you can combo off oh! of it. That back dash was, that was supposed to be a push block. He thought he had blocked, but it was a light. So it he was, got yep. the back dash instead. Yeah, the black sun was not such that that input got accepted as a back dash. That sucks. Good on wing, though. You know what, though? That could have been Psychopath there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got you one more time. All right, I'm not going to harp on you anymore. Well, you know what's fun? We get a rematch from Grand Finals last year. Oh, yeah. We get the Fox Mirror. Yep. No, we're not playing Smash. <laughs> we still get Foxes, though. I might accidentally call Swift Fox as TJ. I'm sorry. I've known him for years. It's hard for me to stop. I knew him before he started using Swift Fox Dash, so. Right. It throws me off. He started using a new handle when he got signed to a team, and it kind of throws me off. I'm sorry. He's, he's TJ. He's if, TJ. I'm, if I make the mistake, he's the Peacock player. Right. <laughs> but on Sonic and TJ, they've been friends for years. They're practice partners, even though TJ lives in Texas, I believe. I know it's down. I know it's down south. I'm pretty sure it's Texas. Okay. Um, Sonic is East Coast. He, I can't remember. It was one of the smaller states, Vermont, Delaware, Rhode right. Island. I can't remember which. Now in New York, but he still plays with everybody, including TJ. Absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm back when they were both, I mean, TJ's obviously still good. Sonic Fox still good. But back when they yeah. were both really achieving, like, wow. Yeah. We're, we're now like when we didn't know who right. they were. Because the, the thing is, like, Skullgirls has gone in cycles where new canons of top players were sort yes. of cycle in. And it, it's so interesting because as soon as Sonic Fox was coming in and he was cycling himself into, like, I'm now one of the best players yeah. in the game, him and TJ were playing a lot. Oh, yeah. They were, yeah. Close, they they were played talking all a lot. the time. They, they got pretty close, and they have remained, as I understand, fairly close for a long yeah, time. Yeah, like, they're been really good friends. Good friends. Yeah. Like, they chat all the time. Yeah. Like, I chat with TJ a lot. We just, uh, we live in the same time zone, so we get <laughs> online at the same time. We play, uh, and obviously we both play Skullgirls, so we just chat. Oh, you play Skullgirls? Yeah, a little you, bit. A little Skullgirls? Yeah. Yeah. A yeah. little bit. <laughs> um... I can see TJ checking his notes right now. Yeah, he's, he's learning from last year, like remembering <laughs> what he did. It's like, so how did I beat him last year? Because yeah. Sonic last year put him into losers. Right. And then TJ exactly. came back, got to grand finals, got the reset, and got the win. Mm -hmm. uh, so here's the thing. Right now, uh, Sonic, is we had to find him. So that's what took it a little bit to get him yeah, up here. I'm guessing he just needed to run to the bathroom. Right. Uh, and fair Something enough, like we that. all got to do it. I will say the weirdest thing... I have not seen Sonic with his ears on all weekend. I don't know if it's just been too hot. Like, it's really hot and humid. I, I, when he was playing pools, it, was it? Was it yesterday? I think. I don't know. I, like, it, I was. But this weekend is already a blur. It's all on. I no, was doing he Mr. Was playing, game. When he was playing his first pools games and in casuals also, he had the, um, he had the, his, his whole head. Okay. So I don't know if he's, uh, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't know. Maybe I don't it just know got too hot. Level. He he looks positively civilian at this point. I know. Uh, maybe he's just gone super serious. He's like, I lost last year. I got put in losers in pools this year. Nah, screw that. I'm going hardcore. Because when he takes the hat off, that's him taking the training weights off. Like, we saw that, what, two years ago at Evo? Because it was MKX. It was him and Tekken Master. Like, Tekken Master bodied him to yep. get the reset. And you saw... Sonic is like, all right, got to think, got to think. Hat comes off. We're playing super serious. Right. He switched to Aaron Black then and managed to come back and take the win. <laughs> so, I don't know. Sonic might just be feeling, you know what? I got put into losers in pools. I got to play for real. <laughs> oh, and super real. He went to Gehenna. You can't get this stage on random. You have to pick it on purpose. This no, is this the final is, boss yeah, stage. This is definitely that. It's a belligerent pick. <laughs> I will say, credit to Sonic. He didn't choose the Fukua color. That's hard to see on this, this stage. This is already. This is. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely. Uh, oh, the oh, drop. Hey. Get raw tag. 
Uh -oh. TJ is not afraid to raw tag. Both of his characters have good reversal raw tags. So he's always willing to do the blocks it. blocks didn't work. Did not work. I have no idea what side that hit on. <laughs> Neither did he apparently, right? Yeah. All right. Once you get Lenny out, though, Lonesome Lenny is a guard. Oh! Oh, he keeps the corner! That was rough. Woo, that was rough. Oh, and he gets the taunt at the end. Sonic's feeling himself. He's, he's giving TJ the eyes right now. He's definitely feeling himself. Because, like, loser of this goes home. This is not a position, frankly, either player is used to. No. Hey, but you know what? Swift up to exit. TJ doesn't just lie down and take it. No. If you will. Uh, he's entering right back, and he's looking like he's about to take this. Uh, yeah, duo picture. versus trio. He definitely gets the kill here. Nice. Still Only sitting needs on one. those uh, unripened tomatoes. I will be shocked if he manages to get a perfect. Yeah. Oh! He can punish, too. Yep. Uh, he's only got the one meter, but uh, that's still a punish. All right. Doesn't get a perfect anymore. He took block damage. Right. A <laughs> moral like, victory, if you will. Yeah. Oh, wow. goes over it. I would have got hit. Oh, man. I thought he was going to get in there. Sonic has no fear. He's just running in. Uh, that's actually like... I'm coming for you. The way TJ is dropping his bomb patterns, just running in is working really well. Because the airplane doesn't track super well, and if he's just dropping the walking yeah, one. Wow, this is a completely different game from last time. This is it right here. Yeah. This like, is a wrap. This is a wrap for only. Sonic's dead. Beep, 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 beep. Man. Wow. What's going on? We're working out some issues here, I think. Sonic is still giving him the eyes, though. <laughs> If you oh. have never met Sonic J. Foxington, then you do not know he's a freaking goofball. He, <laughs> he is. is. <laughs> it's why we like him, even though he wins everything. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to dislike him after you meet him. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's just so goofy. He's a, he's a cool cat. He's a good kid. Oh, good anti-air. Wasn't able to get the confirmed, though. Whoa. Hey there. Oh, oh, oh that no was weird. Because oh. he ran to him a little too close. A yeah. little too soon, rather. Ooh, I don't know what TJ was pushing, but. All right, this is honestly still about even. Oh, oh. man, big lost opportunity. There. And he gets clapped on the other side. Let's yeah, get this get character out of, out of there. Here. Yeah, he's keeping it super safe now. Sonic does not. Nice! Can you use the bomb for your own evil gains? Yes, yes. you can, but you get hit in the process. Uh, it's fine. Both sides take it, and Sonic has the life to spare right now. Ooh, good punch move. Oh no! Zerbella died! The clown is dead! Alright. I'm pretty sure TJ is just gonna try and chip. Oh! I, honestly. He's just going to try to kill yeah. him right there, and it worked. Sonic Fox was like, why don't I just kill you? Yeah, TJ had left the ground. He cannot get away from the car after he leaves the ground. No. It was good eyes on Sonic Fox noticing when wow, he had jumped out. right though. in there. No real combo action, though. Ooh. Yikes. George always saves the day. He's a hero. That oh, no. is a real bummer. Hey, 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 Scariest part is now TJ is coming in. He's got no one dizzy. Like, Sonic I was is gonna free say, to do there's everything. A lot, there's a lot about this is scary. I, I, there's so many scary parts to how he found himself only 10 seconds into the match. Ooh, this should be game if Sonic just spends the meter. Yep. Wow. That, that was, was that was much faster than I expected. That was a man going over the Niagara Falls in a barrel. He's given kissy face to the camera. That was he a just little... has so much fun playing. <laughs> yes. Man, Sonic just 
I can't believe the train he ran. <laughs> there was a lot of train action there. It was definitely. We're going to take a short break before we come back. You're going to watch yeah. some ads. You're going to be influenced by those ads to purchase products. And then after that, we're going to come yeah. back and get back into the meat of this with some more Skullgirls. We'll see you all in a few. Hey, sometimes you just think to yourself, I love Say Jam. I love hot dogs. Why can't I have those together? We work hard to bring that kind of content to you. So we're back watching some more Skullgirls. Let's take a look at this bracket and see where we are. Coming in at winner's top eight, we're going to be starting up the losers first. We're starting with Liam and Wing Zero. We just saw Wing beat to Kill Sage. An evil winner, Wing, he got second place two years ago here at Combo Breaker. He's a solo specialist. Like He's got other characters, but he just likes playing solo philia. On the other side, we got Liam. He's been a, he's one of the handful of players that have just stuck by Robo Fortune. Absolutely. Like Robo is generally seen as one of the weaker characters in the game because she just has really really low damage and really bad defense. But if you're good with her, she can chip out like nobody's business. Like right. once you get full screen, you're in party town. Right. At, at top level play, she's definitely like a high effort character. Yeah. It's a, it's like her combos are hard to do. Yeah, it's not a simple thing to be good with Robo. No. In, but, in an abstract, I mean, you know, you can eat anybody alive online. Oh, yeah. yeah. But like, like when you get to actual, when you're here, no, top, like, top eight, everybody knows what they're everybody doing. Everybody knows what they're doing, so you can't just get away with shenanigans. It's yeah. a hard character to be yeah. good with. And this so is why you see a of lot of Robo players stick her either second or third. And what you do is you try and get a hard knockdown and tag into her. Or if you're playing second, you just get a full combo, DHC, and then go full screen. Yeah. So we're going to jump right into this match. This is a big one, of course. Liam and Wing Zero, two very popular characters. But I got to be honest, the crowd seems to be on Liam's side. Uh, he is kind of like the new player hero. If you get onto the Skullgirls Discord and you ever have a question, Liam will answer you. Right, and like, Liam was also, he spent, he's, how many hours do you think Liam spent just helping like build guides or talk or, or, or go over like, things with people? Like, I don't even know. Like More than some people have even played, I bet. I'm sure. Yeah. But right here, he's definitely getting some good hits. He's putting all that proof into practice, showing you he is, in fact, good at this game. Lots yeah. of hits, but man, the ratio makes it so much work to chip down that life bar. That was such a good reset. Like, I expected Napalm Shot to just have more hits. Run on. under. You don't get to touch the ground. You get hit. For refrigeration. Oh, he had already OTG'd, so he couldn't get the tag in. Because that's one of the things. Like, if you have double, you just end a combo in her stand fierce and then tag in. Uh, wow, oh. wow, wow. That was... That was pretty free. Oh, no! That was almost tragic. Liam wanted the dunk to finish it, but I don't know why Philly didn't fall into the magnet. <laughs> Wing is just thinking, what do I do? <laughs> like, and this is normally a pretty good matchup for Philly. She fights Parasol and Double for that matter very well. All right, and we're gonna get out of this. Maybe no, nope, though. Nope. Nice little green punish. You know, it's funny, when we first started playing the game, we always thought Napalm Pillar into bikes is just too good. And then suddenly... Wow! Standing Heavy Punch any air? What is it, Street Fighter? Yes. <laughs> we can do Mexican uppercuts in this game, it's fine. <laughs> Look at this movement! Oh no! Ooh. Nothing off of that nice little PBGC. Yeah. He didn't believe. It's either that or he was trying to get a DP and miss the input. Nice! Good reset. I like it, put him in a box. Opposite side, that's not a thing! Wow. That's not a thing! I'm double cross up, easy. What, you can't block a six wave first save what? mix up? <laughs> oh! oh! I think Wing thought he had waited long enough. Because if you wait, I think it's 50 frames, all bursts are safe. Sometimes it really do be like that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that, that was, was so a noble close. attempt that at the end so here. That was so close. Safe? Yeah. All right, this is what, this is the game Liam wants to play. Like, he's full screen. He's still got a character to pro provide some cover for Tries Robo. to go in a little bit, gets aggressive, gets thrown himself, and this could be really bad. Yeah, this is, 
like like we've been saying, Rebel's defensive options are really weak. She's really only got nice, level good three. Tech. Oh no! Ooh. Oh, I thought double. Yeah, I just thought, for a second, I thought double. I, right, so I thought for sure we were hearing Doctor Here's Sub -Zero. a one v one with about the same amount of life. If we're being honest. Oh! Yeah. Oh. The difference is, Philia has five meters. Like, she. That's it. Yeah. That this is can it. kill. Gregor. Gregor. Oh, just level three. I thought he was gonna do the triple Gregor. Just Gregor, Gregor, Gregor. That's a little tricky on double, though, so fair enough. Yeah, we went from what the hell just happened, that, that game ended real quick, to a very hard-fought one that Wing comes out ahead, so now they're tied yeah. one to one. On, Wing is a good, he's good at calculating the correct play. Like, he's good in long sets. He plans out how to react to what his opponent is showing. Like, Whoa, nice! Ooh. That was like the tippy tip of them tippy toes. Yeah. Ooh. That instant overhead with the assist call is so hard to block. Yeah, Philia has an easy time low profiling everything, so... Like, the range game against Parasol is not so great for her. Oh! Those burst throw mix-ups are so hard to deal with, because if you just tech too early, it's a burst bait. Like, both Philia and Fortune have those where it's a burst bait and then a throw, and if you try and tech it, you lose. Ooh, he was looking for the cross-up. Right, so we're back in the action with uh, Liam finally nailing that hit again. Second little uh, sequence here. Nice little air reset. This Running is... out of Undizzy, though. Where's he going to go? Tech! Oh! oh! We mash. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, hey, little fake grab. This is kind of what happened last game. Like... Liam lost Parasol, but the health bars were about even. Get in there! Safe? Yeah. <laughs> like, this is almost identical to the last game. Oof. He's dropping his resets, though. I'm, they are kind of tricky on Robo. She is both really heavy and really small. Uh oh! I think this is death. Oh, this is now definitely death. Dead. Three meter here it goes. Let's just do it. Yep. He's not even doing the fancy thing. You can do DP and then cancel that right before you leave the ground into level three. It's really hard. Does a lot of damage, and he's not even trying. It's like so, I don't need to do that. I, I mean, here's the thing. What you were talking about with Wing being able to recompose himself has made all the difference here. Yeah. Because no. Wing, Wing can get hit and hit and hit and hit and hit, and when he finally does respond, it's with the same composure that he was if he'd been hitting you the whole time. Yeah. So the fact is that Liam made that first one look so free. It was so easy for him. And then Wing Zero has taken two in a row of him. He could be closing it out here. Liam definitely doesn't want that happen. He's putting a good game against him. Nice little reset there with the tear yeah. action and the hop. Again, that... Ooh, and it doesn't missed. work the way he thought it would, but we have the opportunity. Oh, wow, this scramble. There was quite the scramble. Like, scrambling when there's nice cat heads hit. out. Not a lot of meter, but, man, only uh, one or two more touches here. I think he's going to snap. It. I think he wants to take that health oh, away. Oh, no, there wasn't anything there. Oof. All right. He just wants to go full screen now, though. At this point, he was going to build the second meter in the combo. He might be able to finish it off. Yes. Yeah, okay, now this is definitely it. Just needs to finish this combo, and he's done. Yeah, he's keeping it simple, because fortunately, Robo Super, it it doesn't care about damage scaling. It doesn't matter. That just doesn't grip no matter what. Now, like, again, look at those life bars. Yeah. It's either, this when Liam plays, it's either a free blow up, or it's so hotly contested, it m makes my mind melt. We got a oh, let's go Liam chant, but Wing Zero says, bump that, gets the first hit. Ooh. Wow, that was so close. That could have been disastrous. Yeah. Disastrous. Uh, that's part of why. Speaking of disaster. Oof. Dead? Oh, definitely dead. Oh my dead. God, OSHA standards definitely not being followed. Accidents. He did not need that reset, but we take those. Oh, we got a wing chat now. Counter chanting. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna sit behind the puddle, play safe. Hey, Get there's Robo the in. first real hit, and he gets a reset on the other side. That reset is so him. hard to block, because it can, it can hit either way. Ooh. Hey, you know what? Gregor's pretty okay. 
<laughs> it's okay. It, well, it's great, except when it's terrible. Like, it's the best worst super in any fighting game ever. It, when it works, it's great. <laughs> yeah. Like, you will see times where it will hit cross up for no reason. And then you'll see times where. Wow, that was. That was. Wow. That was dangerous. I'm surprised he recovered in time. Oh, wow. Liam bet the farm on that. Oh, no oh. big action. No real punish. That was. He was saved by an angel there. Yeah. You ever see that show? It was terrible. Wing was trying to get the drill, and he just dropped the input. Nice! And let's see what the reset is. Other side! Wow, the shenanigans. Oh, no! Yeah, unfortunately, this is also, again, the Curse of Robo. Her combos don't do damage, and they build a lot of meter for your opponent. Oh, this is safe. Ooh. Wing tries to make it on safe. This chip is actually for real, for real. Yeah. Oh, nice little throw! He's going to get right into a combo. He has one meter here. Let's see if he can do something. I don't think this can kill, but he can get the spike. Oh, he just wants full no, screen. Yeah, then chip in when it's done. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. There, he did it. Wow. That was that was by a hair's breadth. Wing was like one touch away from being able to come back there. We got standing ovations in the crowd. That was the losers' quarterfinal. So unfortunately, Wing gets sent home all the way back to California. Our Canadian will stay for at least a little longer. Yeah. And uh, up next, we're gonna be, I'm assuming, doing we, the yeah. other losers' so match. So we only got we only got two matches left to play. Uh, that, Three before, matches before we before we have the winners' finals. Oh yeah. We're running, we're running losers first, right? Yeah. Through. Yeah. Losers so, first. Course, you're right. Got, you're right. We got Dango and Sonic Fox. Yes. And then, of course, we got Liam versus whoever loses in winner's finals. No, Liam against the winner of this. And then... Well, yeah. Boop. Uh, See, what, I, I'm not yeah. really good at, at math. <laughs> That's okay. This is math, right? It's kind of like math. So, Dango, again, playing that unique Beowulf, Painwheel, Big Band team, although we saw two different of those in Top 24, it's not a common team altogether. There's really weird synergy with it because Big Band can do good things with Pain Wheels, Pinion Dash Assist, but Beowulf doesn't get the same value out of Pain Wheel. Like, what he really gets is the safe DHC. Like, he does hit any of his supers into Hatred Install, and on it's an install super. You just get to go nuts after that. So let's talk about what happened with this last time, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, having a little funsies up there. <clears throat> yeah, took Sonic it. was taking his jacket took off. Took his jacket. He went. He's overheating. Understandable. <laughs> this is this is high pressure. Like more pressure means more heat. Like more well, money means more problems. Yeah, I'm. He's one match away from sitting in the audience. Right. He could be watching finals. He couldn't. He could men not make it to a finals. Like that. I. Cannot think of a comp. No, every combo breaker he's at least made, made finals. It to finals. Like since it wasn't since UFGT, UFGT that he wasn't in the finals. Right. This would be his first combo breaker not in a finals of any kind if he doesn't make it this time for combo. So okay, Ooh. let's see how this yeah. is going. Of course, Sonic Fox not playing around. Get Big Ben in here. Oh, incoming cross up and another one. Just picks. He's so fast it doesn't matter. He yeah. drops 17 resets in a time. Takes you to think of one. And I didn't notice this before. He's going solo Fukua for this. Like, that's risky. Fukua, she does not fight Peacock particularly well. Like, once she's in, I'm, it's the same for everybody in the cast. Once you're in, you can go nuts. Oh, that burst. Oh, but he couldn't punish. This is going so fast. Wow. Like... Holy what hell! What the heck was that? He's everywhere! My god, he's everywhere! Hold on, I'm gonna check under the table. Oh, he's under the table! Fukua just gets to do whatever she wants. Got, he got green bar! He actually scored a perfect! That doesn't happen! And it's a virtual green bar because Fukua does damage to herself, but that still counts as a perfect. He never got hit. All right, I really like this. Okay, Out thank, of Dango. Thank you. I just wanted to hit. Nice! Wow! Whoa! That was something. That was a thing. This is really smart out of Dango. Oh my god! Like, he puts it. He's circling him. 
He's certainly yeah. in like some sort of aerial defense drone, but he gets hit right out of the sky. We don't have drones. That's against FAA standards. Get out. Get out. Get Big Man in here and let's punish. Oh, we mash. It's fine. And he gets the E break reset. Ooh, good jump back. Unfortunately, Big Man is fat. It's very hard to get happy birthdays on him. I'm kind of interested because Sonic seems like. And I guess he got about half a life bar on that snap, so I guess it's okay. Because it seems like mostly he just wants to make sure Big Man is out of the picture. Right, with the amount of meter that Fox is sitting on and his propensity for resets, all of those three characters are one-touch kills, essentially. Yeah. Right, we're talking like one reset that'll come in an instant, you don't even see it coming. Uh, Fukua got nerfed to make her resets easier to block, and they're still impossible to block. Ooh, got lucky. That last hit killed. Oh, oh. nice. Catches him out of the air. One reset will do it. And I'm going to get you. I don't know. Dango. Nice. Dango might be able to kill. Oh, no. He can't build enough he meter. He not enough meter. But yeah, if he just gets one reset. Oh, no. Let's I'm, get it's the safe. Install. We're safe. Install, boys. Oh, oh nice. what a tech. tech. And he's going to kill in return. That was so sick off Sonic. I, I still like Django's game plan. Switching to Pain Wheel and Point. Like, Pain Wheel's better in a scramble. Than... He's actually got the meter here. Oh, yeah, easy. This is a free kill. Like, he had to spend everything, but it was. Like, that combo is really easy in the corner, especially on Big Band. Yeah, I like sticking with the Pain Wheel Point. You get to play in the air more, and Fukua doesn't like fighting people who can play in the air against her. Oh, okay. Put him in the corner and throw a little spike at him. Yeah. Oh, oh, that oh, was Ooh. that was both almost and then really bad. Yeah. Good blocks. Good blocks. All right. Wait, how did she fall out of that? It looked like she got hit by the beat extent. Same. Same. Not sure. Don't know. Yeah, I just couldn't see it. The, the hit sparks blocked what I thought happened. All right, he gets a combo again. Teleport, doesn't even need to. Good reset. I would like to see Dango snap on his next hit. Like there's a chunk of health. I would like to health. see Dango win. <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, this is really punishing. Sonic Fox, is, yeah. uh, when he gets in there, he really gets up in there. But. Again, like, this is kind of a hard matchup for Fukua. Like, she w usually wants to zone. Okay, so but with the amount of meter we're sitting on, we're actually looking at Kill Ranger here. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, one of that went towards the bomb. Uh, yeah. I Ooh, okay. Hey, no, this is good. Exactly. Yeah, I totally, yeah, got totally the combo. agree with that. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, no. Oh, what happened? Bang, bang, bang. Bang, where's the bang? Bang, bang. Uh, this is still good for Dango. He just needs to not make this a scramble. Yeah. Like, Peacock just puts projectiles exactly where Fukua wants to be. And Fukua can only put one projectile on screen at once. Like, what, he sh what Dango is looking to do is just get enough meter to where he can get paint or oh Peacock in safely. God. Oh, that reset is so hard to block. It is double overhead and a cross up. Like, uh oh. Ooh. And he just cannot get out of the corner. Man, yeah. All of this pain. God, this is kind of like interesting. A, Sonic like Fox is learning. Like, when the round started, he thought Big Man was the problem. No, Peacock's the problem. There we go. All right, this is where Dango wants to Sitting be. Sitting on a lot of meter. Nice. There was no. There was no. Yeah, fake there was no up. mix up. There was no mix up. I just jumped over you. There. That's usually a three-way mix up. Oh no! This is dead. And you all are hearing Doctor Sub Zero's laugh. I forget the name of the podcast that he used to have, but we borrowed his laugh for Skullgirls. Yeah, like. 
Dango had the right idea, but he was just never able to implement it. Like, Sonic was just inside of him for most of those games. Yeah, that's the thing about plans. You have to execute them. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, Sonic Fox said, uh, yeah, no plans in these parts. Now we've got winner's finals coming up. I'll be honest, didn't see this coming. This is Skullgirls 2002 EVO finalist, Sev. Yes. Uh, versus Rabble Flaggers, who I'm pretty sure didn't start playing until like two or three years ago. No, Rabble is, like, is fresh. I mean, look at him. He did. He, yeah, he, he's a young lad. He, he wasn't even allowed to go outside after eight until a few years yeah. ago. Yeah. What's really funny, Sev is not playing any of the characters she played in the Evos that she went to Grand Finals for. Although last year we did have a rematch of Evo 2012 Finals. Somebody had a Skullgirls setup that they had never updated. They still had the Evo. <laughs> They still had the same setup or same vanilla Skullgirls from Evo 2012. You just, I think you just. Did I say 2002? I think you just created a new hot uh, meme for, right. for the community. Uh, You're all welcome. Thank you so much for that. Uh, just adding to it. We've been at this since 2002. And two. And yes. 2002 years. At 2002 years. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> the, we're, we're seeing Bale Band mirrors in winners finals. People have been talking about this team actually for like two or three years. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, but you know what? If anybody's got a glass out there, raise your glasses to 17 long years of Skullgirls. Yes. Like the only difference is the third part of their team. And honestly, the third part of their team offers very similar things. Right. It's a safe DHC for Beowulf, so. You know, you can just mash out that super sometimes. Man, for Skullgirls, there's a lot of testosterone on screen. Four men's. Yes. Four, four men, one Eldritch Horror. And one Experiment, yes. Yeah, yeah and one Valley Girl. One, yes, this is a, ooh, ooh. Wait, I can't remember. Does, does Ravel use the Valley Girl voice? I can't remember. Like, I can't hear. There's too I much action. Hear. We're, we're just going to have to use our imaginations here. Yeah, I assume, because the Valley Girl pain wheel voice is so good. Danielle did such a good job on that. That she did. I actually remember talking to Mike about it. He said that they didn't think it was going to be that funny. <laughs> and then they actually got in the booth. It was like, oh, yeah. No, this is the this best. This works, yeah. So Rival Flag is definitely uh, taking the, the hardest. And it's a nice little reset, but it doesn't go anywhere, unfortunately. Yeah. Like, Sev got Beowulf out there wow. just in time to break up the reset. Beowulf saved the day on that one. Double actually got hit in the corner. Yeah. Nice run under. I'm going to call Throw Reset. I was wrong. It was just a drop. Yeah. So, see, we, we can't think on the high level. No, we're, we're not drop. good enough. We just drop it. Good block punish? Yes. yes That's that not safe. safe. Oh, that ain't safe, baby. Beast of Gehenna is fake. That used to be safe, and then, then we Mike, told Mike that I was, was gonna, dumb. I was like, Mike, that's busted. Everybody said Mike's snap, busted. Snap, snap. Yes. Yeah, baby. Look at all that life draining. It's an oozing Good tech out. on incoming, though. Like, this is honestly about even. Sev needs one touch to kill here, and so does Bravel. Sev went for more resets than she needed. She's going to pay for that. Chuck that life away. And of course, just comes in solo band. But I mean, one SSJ is going to be a wrap. Yeah. Oh, All no. right. I admire that patience. Because if Rabble would have jumped in, he might have gotten might take have by the shade. Yeah. Like, that hitbox is really weird. Good reset. Gets a kill. Funk. Yeah, keep it simple. Just jump up and thresher. Rawr. Like, that thresher is active for years. Yeah. And it's actually the funniest mix up. Like since 02? I'd say at least 15 years. <laughs> I've definitely been hit by more viewers than I like to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they did almost the same thing at round start. Only difference was there was one assist call. Ooh, good confirm. Rabble with his green Power Ranger, he's feeling himself now. He got a, he got the scramble win in the first game, and now he's just getting to run all over Seth. Rabble Flagger is going uh, rep crazy right now. Rabble, that was some Rabble, real good blocks, though. Seth gets to reset the neutral with some really good blocks, and Double has really good neutral. Yoink! 
All right, double is almost dead. This is going to sting. It's going to be a little bit of a splinter situation. All right. That was actually really smart. Because Bi Big Man's tag is armored, a lot of Pain Wheel's resets are not safe to armor. Uh-oh, real hits happening. Oh, oh, a little too far. Oh, oh no. That is big time change maker right there. Level three? Yes. Super? Yes. And look at all that life drain off of Big oh Bang. Oh, my God. I'm not sure which side that actually hit on. It looked like it was front side, but... Yeah, let's talk about this dead character. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's Man, Seth has turned this around in a it's heartbeat. It's just a single bear while sitting there. And he grabbed... Wow! Unfortunately, double heavy. There was no way for him to get the happy birthday off the grab, but... Oh, oh try nice. to grab but You can't be grabbing it. Just think about that. All right, Seth needs one reset. She missed it. Patient, patient. Unfortunately, oh. that command grab was ill-advised. Yeah, Ravel was going for the home run there. Because yeah, he, he, he only needed one touch to be able to kill double there. Yeah, he, he figured might as well swing for the fences. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, that one did not pay dividends. I, I agree with the logic. Like, I'm one touch away from dying anyways. Let's swing for the fences. If we get it, we get it. If we don't... Moving on to the next yeah. round. Right. Like, I'm not going to spend the mental energy. I don't want to burn myself out. See if we get Crouch Fierce opening again. <laughs> again, with the mirrored openings. Oh, no. That was very unfortunate for Seth. Big Man, of course, doing his job, the protector. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh. God. There's so much to talk about there. Oh, no. Does he get both? No. No, nope, unfortunately. But hey, you know, dead character either way. Yeah. Ooh, that was kind of dirty. I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to keep the corner with nice that tag. Nice low there. And we're going to put him back in the A-train. Nice. The good patience there, knowing he needed to be safe. I'm always impressed with these high-level Bale Band the players goes. being able to know when they have time to go for the taunt on the A-train and when to just do nothing. Like, hey, I'm out. Woo, right, that was Fritz. lucky. That, was, that almost broke the armor. Yeah. That was one hit away. That's not safe. Hey! He had two meters. He could have made... Seth could have made that yeah, safe. She had the two meters for cat heads. Cat -headed. Wow, this is going to be a tough comeback if it is ever one. Yeah, I... Rabble needs, I think, one more touch to kill. Yeah, this ain't happening. Yeah, get the hard knockdown. Overhead, dead. Rap. That's a rap. Seb didn't get a single clean touch in that one. Yeah. Just a few tick attacks here and there. Seb is thinking about it. Nope, goes back in. It looked like for a second she was going to go to character select. And I'm pretty sure she doesn't seriously practice her old team anymore. So no. I can't see her. That, that was a momentary lapse of faith. Yeah. Oof. And speaking of clean hits, oh, oh no! no! Oh, she was blocking. You can only block that if you're on the way down. Right. If you're moving upwards, you cannot block that grab. I feel like we're getting a reverse of the last match. Oh, definitely. Oh, wow, oh. raw tag spelling misfortune. Tag? Or snap? Yes. Ooh, no. Interesting. Hey, the wow. fake overhead into low. That was so sick. I would have gotten hit. Yes. I was blocking overhead. Yes. And I will say, though, like, Beowulf did recover a lot of that health. I'm surprised that Zev didn't go for the snap, especially yeah. with all the meters she's got. I mean, it's hard to get a dividends. Now. Yeah. DHC, yeah. This is going to really hurt with all the extra chip. Yeah. Oh, I, my goodness. It doesn't hardly matter. It gets the hit. Like, Beowulf did get the buff where he doesn't take as much chip damage from projectiles, but... Like, when he doesn't have that chair, he takes extra chip. All normals chip him. Yeah. Hey, you that was beat. almost get. a great parry. Yeah. But the cross-up, I think, screwed up, screwed him up. Whoa! I'm, Rebel's not out of this. this is, I feel like this is a familiar situation. Do you remember this from last round? Solo, yeah. Solo band fighting against all odds, not looking too good. Yeah. I'm, the one difference is that Beowulf is bleeding. Oh, yeah. Like, ooh, hey, no, you know that what? hit. You we know take what? those. If you can scissor, you scissor. 
All right, like, Ravel is blocking really well. He just, no, too late. Like, if he would have caught one more happy birthday with Beowulf, that would have been well feasible to make that comeback. But you're hearing some SoCal bias right now. There's a lot of people who like Sev. They uh, they support everybody on the West Coast. And I don't know that there's that many people from the Pacific Northwest that managed to make it out this year. Because I saw a lot of people weren't able to come. Oh! Nice! What you gonna do? All right. Rabble gets to steal the cornerback. Oh no! Full combo? Yes! Ooh, I could have. I expected Seb to spend the extra meter to get the cat heads to try and get both. I guess you didn't want to risk Beowulf falling out and getting mashed out. <laughs> Like, I understand that, because, like... Yeah, you ain't getting out of that one, Chief. You got to take yeah. that chip and die. Oh, Ooh. man, that was almost a game-changing moment, but unfortunately, Ravel couldn't really hold on to it. Yeah, I don't think he saw that he got the stagger, because you only get the stagger if you fully charge her stand heart punch. Sev says it's time for... It, it, Sev said it's my time. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? I lost that Evo to Duck Aider. Nah, we ain't doing that again. Nope. Because as is, Seb is one character away from sitting in Grand Finals. Hey! Oh, and gets a grab. This is looking devastating this is right now. You cannot deal with this. The momentum is completely on Severine's side. Ooh! Let's see. Right. The, Rebel the, the, has a yeah, chance, though. The, the first part about changing this up is getting this character out. Can you do it right now? All right. I really like that reset because Rebel really needs the five meters. Because five meters? Wow. Gets the low immediately, and we're talking big time damage. If we can get one more hit. Yeah. Oh! oh! He might do it. He might actually build the five meters. This would be fantabulous, sir! Oh, no! He did it! Holy shit! What a comeback! Holy shit! Seth can't believe it. Uh, you can't help, like, that was sick! He got that beat extend, was just a... He had to do the E-break to build the extra meter to get the level five. That awareness was amazing. Ravel deserves that. Like, like, I don't know what to say. Like, he came back, he was like, all right, oh I need to do a little bit extra to build this meter, so we're gonna do the extra E-break, because I built that, that was little too bit much. extra. That was too much. He did every multi-hit move to build a little extra meter, <laughs> and now he gets to sit in grand finals. He gets to wait. He gets like he gets to catch his breath, calm down, because it looked like he was dead to rights. Sev had four meters, like any I touch thought, killed. I thought I was going to a funeral for one person, but it was we were actually wrong. it was actually a surprise funeral for another person. It's I like, didn't think it was like if you went to, if you went to Rabble Flagger's funeral and Sev was there, like pretending to be sad, like oh geez, yeah, and she sorry. just fell into the grave. And then, and then Rabble Flaggers opened up the grave, and was like nah, bitch, and pulled him back and is a clap. You did. That was mind blowing. I don't know. All right, I'll be honest. I do expect the next matchup to be equally hype. Sonic Fox versus Liam. Like, both of these guys have been playing for a while. Both of these are regulars in winners everything. They're trading perlers. Like, I don't know. Is, that okay, is a, that is a moment. I hope somebody clipped it. That by is, the way, that if nobody a, clipped that, I'm gonna be mad. That is. I was yes, say, that's a 2002. I was gonna, in 17 years of Skullgirls, yeah. that's one of the top moments. That was like maybe the most fantastical, impactful. I can't high believe that comeback. An amazing comeback. That was just amazing. Use of a level five I have ever seen in my life. 
Interesting. Sonic went back to his trio for this. I wonder why. Because the last time he played against a zoning team, he went with the Solo Fukua. This time, like, this is... Liam's team is pretty much all in on zoning. Like, he uses... With the slide, he's able to just kind of make a lot of range. But I mean, it's working out for Sonic. He's going to be able to kill Parasol here. I mean, Sonic's double is bleeding, but Liam's Parasol is dead. Yeah, I was going to say, bleeding, dead, which one would you take? Does that, oh my god, that hit. Does he get the spike? Oh, he doesn't even try. Yeah, because he got punished last time he tried to go for the spike. That was quite sexual. Dead character, that, let's do it. Oh, ooh. no. Yeah, that was a little high. Like, that combo on the lights is a little hard. And this is really bad for Brobo. She does not want to have to block. Holy crap. Push block, dark I was gonna say, jab? Just defending that would have been something, but to come out of the tunnel on the other side with a clean hit into combo, into happy birthday super. Spend Are both? you joking? No. Are you joking? Like, that was a sick push block is this guard cancel. Is this a tight five in which you practice consistently to get laps? Uh, we are playing on the final boss stage. This is Gehanna. This is what Fetus of God wishes it was. And again, like, Liam's losing a character, but Sonic is like, a touch and a half away from losing two characters. Right, no, it's the thing, and Double is the character to do that kind of stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Like, with Bottom full on Dizzy, Dizzy. It's going to be on short resets for a while. Yeah. yeah even the throw. It's not, you don't have much room. you got to keep doing it. Yeah, like, Sonic get, is going to have to hit. work oh hard. Oh, my God. You don't got much more room there, Liam. you got to get something going, buddy. Another throw. Oh, no. That's three throw resets in a row. I feel like, oh, wow, good reversal hey, by throw. by the way, did you know Double can throw? Yes, I did. Ha-ha. <laughs> got him. Because the best part for Liam, he doesn't have to spend all his on Dizzy. Unfortunately, Fuku recovered almost all of that red life. Good block. Whoa, wow. where are you? Flesh is stepping all over the place. Oh, no, no conversion off of that, though. That's okay. Yeah. Jabs. Jabs, jabs, jabs. The one big difference between pair, or between doubles jump heavy punch and pinwheels jump medium punch, same animation, but pinwheels is disjointed. Oh. Doubles isn't. Oh, so much meter. So much but meter! I don't know that he has enough time, though! Like... No, you're I, absolutely right. Like, he needs... Yeah, there just wasn't enough time. And that, that level 5 you, got you, nerfed. You, if you heard the crowd, they all went, oh... Yeah, they realized, because that level 5 got nerfed. It's really hard to make that max damaging now. Like, if he would have gotten the kill, I would have agreed, but I think I would have liked him saving it for level 3, because doubles level 3 pauses the timer. Exactly. Timer stop. That said, like, he's got the advantage nice. now. Excellent. Leaves like, just empty jump low? Corner. That works in every fighting game ever. Wow. Get this kill. Get this kill! All right. Yeah, because he dropped that in top 24. I was afraid he was going to drop it again, but... Thankfully, he's stopped whatever nerves stopped him last time. And he's playing just all out Excelente. runaway. Excelente! Parasol is so good at playing that like mid-range zony runaway. Like she plays, she zones, but not at full screen. She wants to be dropping tears all hey, over. Hey, oh, what a confirm! Man, if that would I, oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, Lasers, that was, Lasers he was at chip range no matter what. Wow, Liam, look at these life bars. Gets hit though. Ooh. Wow, right back at you, buddy boy. We got heavy counter hit combo, full on Dizzy. He can do whatever he wants. He went for the reset, but, I mean, this is going to be real hard for Sonic. I never doubt his Fukuwa. Yeah, I was saying, but, Fukuwa always has an assist. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, there it is. Nice little reversal. In the corner. Gonna build one meter here. Yeah, he should be able to kill as long as he doesn't drop. Yep, one more chain. Oh! Ooh. He tried to go fancy. Hey, jab him. Yeah, down jab. That's Crouch fine. Jab. Crouch jab. Sonic is even doing the motion for that down jab. He's like, yeah. He checked me. 
I deserve it. I wonder if Liam didn't realize in that last combo if, that he had used his uh, OTG already. Yeah, I think he must not have. Yeah, because with that assist, he doesn't need to use his OTG. Man, the side effect's going in. God, I feel like this is the same thing that happened with Liam's last match, too. One person gets the momentum, and they just win. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, this is a game that rewards momentum very well, but... As we saw in the winners' finals, you can make comebacks. Oh, such good block! Oh, that is tragic. I don't know why Double fell out of that. Yeah, that, that was some that real really bad sucks. luck. That like I guess Fukua just took the bullet. Yeah. Because now Liam is gonna lose his Robo. Ooh. Good tech, but it's, I, I don't see how this could go any other way at this point. There's not a life. I'm, if he can get her out safely, shoot now. him. Shoot him. Yeah, because unfortunately she, she just doesn't have anything invincible. Good God! Even when you get hit, you don't get hit. Yeah. Yeah, and there's just not much to say. Completely lopsided match. Yeah. Sonic Fox is going to take this one. He is now up two to one. One oh. game away from sending Liam home. All back. three rounds have just been one-sided. Yeah. Whoever gets that first hit. And to be fair, with both these point characters, whoever gets the first hit gets so much momentum. Both of these characters can carry a carry one hit. Wow, he did Ooh. that without any super backing it up. Not that that would have mattered much. He probably still would have punished him. That is so odd, Ooh. and he doesn't get the punish on that either. Yeah. This is a wacky little round start. These first well, 10 skull seconds have been a, a little like, okey doke I know why Sonic didn't bother trying to do the super off of that first DP. Are because if you stand block it, you can always punish. Nice! Ooh. Running under him down. He said, yeah. I want a character. You got a character off me? Time to get a character off you. Oh, no. That was a bad tag. Yeah, this is a dead parasol. Super into, I think, oh, I forgot. He's got Fukua still. Yep. For some reason, I was brain farting and thinking that it was Philia coming in. Ooh, that fake cross up. But Hey, Ooh. very nice conversion. And unfortunately, either drops or does not pick up the reset. Either one. But is that's okay. Damage like, is over. as long as they're not in point blank range, that's where. Did that actually work? Oh my God, it got both. This is so much life. Okay, Sonic locked out. Double fell out of that because that combo is super bad on assist because Dead every character. single hit gets on And now we got no assist, just double. And Liam's looking pretty good right here. Ooh, good confirm. He's going to need two or three more resets, though. He just doesn't have any meter. See, normally that's what you do on Cloud King. Sonic is usually better right, about so spursing. speaking of dead characters, it's time to kill here. Yeah, like, spend the meter. All right, All so right. it's Robo versus Double. This is for Liam's tournament life. Hilariously, both characters need, like, five touches because Sonic has no Undizzy to work with and oh, Robo no! does no damage. Level three, if you just do it right here. I don't think it can kill. Yes. It's going to be close. Yes. Like, this does really good damage at full on Dizzy, but it's going to be close. And pow! Oh, right in the kisser. Just enough. And Sonic is demanding a hug and his perler back. He said, take your beats back. <laughs> Liam knights the fox. All right. So Sonic Fox gets back. He's back in the losers' finals. So not a position he's used to. I was gonna say, it, it turns out he does make it to finals. Yeah, I mean, we've seen this in other games. Sonic Fox gets knocked into losers, and then levels up. Cause I don't know what it is, but anytime he gets knocked into losers, he seems to play much sharper. Like in every game. Yeah. Oh, there's that expert's boredom kind of thing going on where yeah. if he's not pushed to the max, he might not be playing at his full potential. Yeah. Uh, he's obviously still having fun. He loves the game. He just wants to play. 
man. Okay, so we're, oh, we're no. Seth might be in trouble. So Sonic uses the same color as double, same color double, and he had already picked his team. Uh -huh. Sev doesn't get to use her Sev color has for to double. Say rainbow. Oh no! Why is she letting him play on this stage? So with the colors that this Sonic full, Fox uses this for Fukua, is full BS mode right now. Like Fukua's shadows are very hard to see on the stage, and if you're even a little colorblind, they're straight invisible. Like, you should definitely not let this stage happen against Sonic Fox. Or make him oh. change colors. Like, it's this stage and uh, I forget the name of it, but the actual final boss stage. Right. Man, that is... Uh, and it hasn't mattered so far because we haven't seen Fuqua. Oh! All right. Oh, but she doesn't have... She didn't have her chair. She couldn't snap. Yep. That was really lucky on Sonic for Sonic. A lot of red light there because you just get that character in either by killing or snapping. Yeah. And Sonic is risky calling that double still. Because he's one match to SSJ from losing her. Alright, it's not looking too good for Sev here. Alright. That was a not real burst, so. Wow, what a brave call there, jeez. I'm surprised he, she didn't go immediately for a snap instead of going for the Bulldog. And I know the Bulldog is sweet, but... And I guess it's a moot point now. All right, Seb definitely needs to go for a stage change. I don't know that she needs to go for a character change, but she has to get a stage change. No, don't restart. <sighs> I understand the desire to get right back into it, but yeah. really, his stage is garbage for this. Yeah. Uh, she hasn't had to deal with it yet, so that might be why. Yeah, you, uh, Sonic Fox is like a, uh, like he's not a, he's not a hero or a villain, and he's not an anti-hero. He's an anti-villain. Yeah. He's a villain who works for good purposes for some reason. He, he's good enough that he shouldn't need to pick stage shenanigans, but he still does it. Yeah. He's such, he's such a, ah! Uh, why? We out. Said, all right, Mr. Fritz, I'm out. Good DP. Seb was trying to push too hard there. Wow, good block on the cross up. Ooh. Seb almost got the happy birthday on that. It's pretty close. All that right, was now let's see if she can actually make this momentum work in her favor. Nice! Hop. Give him the hops. She's got enough on Dizzy that she should be able to kill here. Yes, doesn't even need to spend the meter. All right, this is actually about even. Like, it doesn't look it since Sev is down like half a life bar on both her characters, but she's got the meter advantage and the corner advantage. That counts for a lot. I don't know if he's going to stay <laughs> invisible long enough. Yeah! I was wrong. Oh, hey, it's the technically yeah. avoidable. Yeah, <laughs> used to be unblockable, got fixed, so it's blockable, but hard to block. And extra hard for Fukua, because she doesn't have a non-metered reversal. Oh! I stood there. I yeah. waited. This is Skullgirls. Like, we block eight-way yes! reversal safe mix-ups. We don't react to 40 frame All command right, grabs. Sam, let's do it. All right, she's got the taunt. She might be able to kill here. Like... Taunted SSJ into level three? That might be enough to kill. Oh, oh that's here we definitely go. enough. Now is a wrap. It is officially a wrap party. Do it. Spend yeah. meter. Do, 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 ah. She could have ended that two chains earlier. Oh, yeah. She did but, it Mike style. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right, I got to make sure that I can still hit my combos. I want to make sure I'm not going to drop it later. So we're going to do it in a pressure situation. I still think she should demand a stage change. Like, stage, this isn't Tekken, this isn't Soul Calibur, stage doesn't matter that much. Oof. This I, is a bit of a yikes moment. Yeah. She was just getting filiad. And she got reset twice there, three times. Sonic Fox has done a lot with not very much on Dizzy. Three, do it. Yep. Yeah. 
I like how he's playing it safe. It is technically possible to do it after the last hit of the Fenrir Drive, but it sometimes whiffs. It's easier if you just wait and do it before it lands. Oof. Yeah. This, this is, is a, another this, one of those hard matchups. Yeah, just this, because the, the wind's really out of the sails on this one. This was a very, very rough match for Seb. At this point, you got to cash it out, go to the next round, get yourself back together. Yeah, like the only way she was going to be able to get back in is a happy birthday level three. Yeah. And, and Sonic was yeah. not calling his assists. Yeah. I mean. We got a Let's Go Set yeah. chant going on. Oh, and see, there's the anti villain yeah. Don't ever say I don't yeah. know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, now Seb is actually calling for a Sonic Fox chant, too. She doesn't want the pressure. Ooh, caught the back dash. This is not where you want to be. Oh, that works. Oh, that's right. If oh, blocking? oh, no. Seb wasn't that blocking. That is not what you needed. There, snappy. I, I will say, for what it's worth, Ben isn't her best character. It's not the worst thing in the world to lose him, but it does take a lot of the synergy away from the team. That's the big issue. Yeah, this is this is like a uh, the, yeah. the crowd. The crowd has fallen still, if you will. Yeah. That was a very unfortunate uh, scene to behold. Yeah, like, Seb just kind of got caught by that one backdash. Or caught backdashing once. Seb's fighting back, but I mean, it's... It's, it's going to be really hard. It's, a, I mean, it's, it's a, doable. It's, it's a bit of a futile effort with 3 meter, I mean, let's be honest. I... The problem is, is that she cannot let double land. Like, the second double... Yeah. The second double gets to play the game. Sonic wins. So again, th they're keeping in good spirits. Look at them. Yeah. I mean, these are these are longtime players of Skull Girls. Yeah. Some of the best in the world, arguably the, proven the best in the world for a long time. Yeah. We got a rabble chant happening because this is what had has come down to. Yeah. And rabble versus Sonic Fox. If you would have told me this was gonna happen, like Sonic Fox in Grand Finals, yeah, I kind of expected that. Rabble? I'm, I know he's good. I didn't expect him to be like winner's side grand finals. So this is what I said to Rabble yesterday. I caught him uh, when he wasn't wearing his maid outfit. And I said, Rabble, I was really impressed with you last year. And you're my dark horse. Yeah? I said, Rabble, you're my dark horse. I, I, I got a lot of money riding on you, Rabble. I swear to God. I, I swear to God. I had him pick for good top luck. eight. Good luck. Try but. your hardest. No pressure. I, he's been playing super clean, other than that like weird scramble he had with Seb in Winners Finals, but he came out on top with it because his team is scary with meter. Like he gets to just do a lot of BS with meter. Like he can do two invincible reversals with Beowulf and still be safe because he's got hatred and cell in the back. He can do mash into SSJ. And if it hits, he gets a full combo. And if he ever gets to five meters, well, that kills a character. Just free. Like, as long as he doesn't forget how to play the Skullgirls intro. And the fans, everybody in the audience wants to see this Sonic lose again. One, this is a 100% Rabble crowd right now. Yeah. I actually like that Rabble threw away the chair right away. Like. It discourages Sonic Fox from jumping in at round and start. And let's get this thing started. Hey! Ooh, that was a quick reset. He knows that yeah. one. Yeah. Like, that's the one every Bayo Band player does. That's Bayo Band 101. But you do need to like, prove you can block this. The big issue is that Rabble hasn't had time to build any height. So he's not been able to get a whole lot off of the grabs. Yeah. And he's also been spending a lot of his meter. And down goes Beowulf. He's like, the big problem is that he's been doing, all of his work has been off grabs, so all of the damage on Philia is red health. As long as Sonic doesn't call Philia, oh that no. That suck, ouch. Yikes, I she's think, a peep. I think he messed hey, up the snap. Hey, you know what? Answer it right back, kick you across the stage, wall bounce, get back here. E-break? 
Ooh, drop combo instead. All right, I think Sonic was hoping to be able to catch more of Pain Wheel with the cat heads. I agree with that decision. Ooh, he was really hoping to catch Fo Philia too. Ooh, that sucks. Nice. Yeah. Can't throw you a little damage. That's okay. She's about half life right now with that red. I mean, oh, Sonic is playing shot. smart. He's just staying back and recovering that red health. God, when he flushed that bottom, it's just gross. Man, I am nervous every time I see somebody do an uh, air reset on Pain Wheel. Because if they're just mashing super in the air, if you cross them up, they just get flight. And if you don't cross them up, you're sad because you get hit by Thresher. Oh, yeah. All right, already called assist, so he couldn't get anything off of that. Like, I really like how Sonic is playing super patient here. Yes, there's a lot, like, like, going on here. A lot of respect. Oh, no, but yeah. the conversion off that up do is going to be bad. Yeah. Dead characters all over the place. Yeah, the only way Sonic loses this now is if he gets too greedy and plays too aggressive. But with all that life and all those characters, I don't see this going anyway but uh, his round this time. That was not good when I saw coming. That was yeah. a weird hit. That was a little bit of a weirdness. I mean, I will say, Pain Wheel with Meter, she can crush characters really quickly. And her mix-ups are filthy. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Yeah, I think Sonic just looked at the timer and realized that, hey, I only need to go in when you're actually in on me. Otherwise... I'm just going to kill the time. Like, you can't do enough damage. Yeah, he didn't go in until Pain Wheel caught up to him. And then he called assist All with right. a button. Crowd kind of give, trying to give a little bit of energy to uh, Ravel. But I, I'm going to be totally honest. I think everybody at home needs yeah. to lift their hands above their heads. Yeah, Ravel needs a spirit bomb right now. He, he definitely needs some of that energy because Sonic Fox, as you clearly can see, is not a joke. Ravel just doesn't get this. Just because he's in the winner's side doesn't mean he's won. Yeah. He's got to fight every inch. Yeah, I'm, Sonic is no joke in any game that he likes. If he likes a game, you got to work real hard to beat him. Oof, and this is going to be a dead Beowulf right off the bat. Ooh, no, he ran out of Undizzy on accident. hey -o, why not, right? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh hey, what? At. That was such that a was sick That was so confirm. sick! He, he How confirmed. many layers? That was he a seven layer two dip of conversions, dude! A two wall splat conversion? That was the weirdest sweep hitbox. That hit behind him. Yeah, again, like I was saying, you gotta be real careful if you're gonna reset her in air. Cause... Oh our, no! Ooh, that was the no. kill! Free tag out? Yeah. And this is another one of those, you should not be letting Sonic Fox play on this stage. It is very hard to see Fuku's shadows on this stage. Oh my god, and he was so close to knocking out that double, and now he's about to lose his pain wheel. Yeah. That is so, so sad to see. Good blocks on incoming, is what I would say. Yeah, get rid of that Beowulf. Because Beowulf, that's the strongest character. Like, that's... That's the nuts and bolts of Ravel's team. Big Band is the glue that holds it together, but Beowulf is his money character. Okay, Snap. that's a real thing there. Let's Ooh. do it. Oh, no. There's no real action afterwards. Okay, Ooh, hey, why good not, tech right? chase. I mean, at least he kills Fukua here. Oh, no, so many drops. He picks it right back up, but my god, that was three drops yeah. back to back in quick succession. He is a little bit flustered now, I gotta yeah. say. I, grand final nerves. Like, it's no joke. He's still got OTG. He can kill. Yes. Hey, there we go. All right. Like, this is We've even basically back up even. Now. Like, they're both essentially on one bar. There's a hit, and we're looking at a, kind of the same -ish amount of meters, two to one there. And he gets the hit! Oh no, no but he dropped he didn't it! Believe. So many drops! This could be the big moment here, but he needs a reset. Good there reset. he is. Put him back in the corner. Let's see where the next bit of action is. Another good air throw tech. gets tech. Goes out and get back in. Oh, the hit's there. This could be it if he just doesn't drop it. Of course, this is Sonic Shocks I'm talking about. Let's see that meter come out. Bam, yeah. wham. Thank you, ma'am. Yep. Yeah. Philia's jump medium punch is no joke, especially against 
armored characters like Big Band. Like, those hits come out so fast, you cannot trust your armor to break through it. That was, Unravel looks calm. I don't know, he's not playing calm. It feels no. like he's playing a little scrambly. We'll see, like if he's able to start playing his game here. He got the first hit. He's playing his game. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Again with these. There are so many dropped opportunities right now. And the composure is just not there, unfortunately. Yeah, you're definitely seeing that, that this was is a great armor finals. moment. Let's see if we can get it together. No more drops, all right? All no right. more tears, shampoo. He's finally building that hype that he needs to be able to do all the good throw stuff. That, again, a, dr yeah. a drop followed by an immediate pickup. But, God, that's not what you yeah. want to happen. You want to finish your play. Yeah, he's, he's getting lucky breaks, but he needs to... He just needs to be playing more solid right now. Because, like, of all of his characters, I don't expect to see him drop anything with Beowulf. Into... Oh, yep. level three. Yep. So, dead character. Yeah. And we're I back thought, even, but incoming shenanigans. Yep, there's yep. a hit. That was just fake everything and then go overhead. How much time can you block on... Whoa! Ooh. Okay, hey, you know what? We yeah. take those. He... Rebel lucked out a little bit on those hits, but... Yeah... Hey! Oh, oh my god! Again with these unfortunate drops! He is just spaghetti all over the ground! Yeah, he was going for the level 5 and he dropped the input. And now he's gonna lose Big Band, so he's losing... Like... Big Band is not his strongest character, but it's his strongest comeback character. Because... That level five is just the great equalizer. You catch an assist with it, you just win. Like, it one-touch kills assists. And instead, he's gonna die in a rainbow. Oof. All right, Rebel, he should go back to character select. I don't think he should change teams, but he should take a minute. Just calm down, like, he needs to think. You can hear, the, hear all the East Coast guys calling for Sonic. They want to see Sonic Fox take back his crown. He's only lost at one combo breaker. Ever since we started combo breaker and moved on from UFGT, so he's if, won. If you don't observe rival flaggers very often, then you might think this is a calm face. No, he's tense. He is extremely tense right now. Like, I'm glad he took a minute to think. Like, he definitely needs to calm down. Like, he needs to get back to playing his game. Take this character. I don't think... Oh, okay. I forgot that that got damage buffed. All right. See what we're doing? Interesting All right, decision. yeah. I think he was just hoping to catch... Whoa, hey, why not, right? I Why think Sonic just not? messed up a push block guard cancel. Rebel that jumping. Flaggers, there, All are, right. there, are, there are a few moments in your life where you really ascend, you, you reach higher than you ever thought you could. Yes. This is one of those times. He needed that break. Rebel, like, this is one of those times. All right, all right, good blocks. Ooh, he didn't believe on that Crush Media Punch, hit. but... He has got so many resources, so many opportunities. No drops and one reset, and he's got this thing. That was an incredible block and from Sonic. And he gets power through with the armor. Spend that meter, baby! All right. All right. Rebel Flaggers. Yeah. Now, Sonic turned to him and gave him thumbs up. He's like, flaggers, that was good. Yes. He is now ready for some belligerence. Sonic yeah. Fox is going to come out of the gate absolutely swinging. Yeah, like... Man, I don't even know. Like, that little brief pause. And he gets hit! Right, I told you he was going to go right for the hit. He was going to go it. right for it. that hit. This is so big, baby. This is so big. I just like that Beowulf has the easiest double snap to for the crowd to chant along with. Everybody else has his really weird timings. Wow, that was a little... Uh, now, but he gets hit, he's going to be able to put him back in the corner if he wants. Perfect. Oh, oh no! no! Hey, we're gonna get back right in there, boys! 
He can block. He's safe. Yeah. And he gets to punish. Very nice, Rebel Fighters. This is your time, buddy. I think this he can is kill. your time. Spend that meter. Oh, he doesn't even need no to. No drop. One character left to go to go two games up. Let's see what you can do. Nice grab on incoming. Let's do the Okie Dog. All right, he's got all the hype he needs. Get and that hard knockdown. Oh, oh no, no, he wakes up with an air he dash. Was, he was looking for DP. All right, still safe. He gets a mix up. Ooh, he threw to a little oh too early. Goodness. Oh my goodness, oh no. Pay me, please, pay me, please. I love you so much, get out of there. Please, you're such a young girl. You need to live. You've got so much life. She dead, man. Oh God, the humanity. And that all came down to Rambo oh! through a little early. Where is this happening? No! Oh, no, no! Oh, this was Rabble's game for Oh, no, 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 Please, no! For the love of God! For all that is holy on this earth! All right, Sonic missed his wave dash. Rabble is still in it. Rabble, whoever gets the next clean touch wins. No! I don't know. God, that giant step seemed really risky. Like, you can anti-air with it, but you don't want to trust it to anti-air. I feel like he should have just been going for more E-breaks. Wow, Crouch fears at round start. Unfortunately, he is not I Dante. You know what, Rabble? That's one, that's one round, all right? Yeah, uh, it's fine. You're still in this game. Good blocks. God, the pressure. Yeah. The pressure. And the character was doing so much work, is just about to go out of the round, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, Rattle really needs his Beowulf to... Had to spend the remainder of the meter to do it, but still, yeah. that's not so... That's not so good. Rabble just needs his Beowulf to do the work. Ooh. Yikes. That was bad. Like, that burst was correct. That was not a real burst bait. He was so close last round, and now... It's looking like the momentum's all back in Sonic Fox's corner. Yep. One critical moment. BFF. Sometimes. One more chain. Sometimes that's all you get. You get that one moment. Yeah. You get to reach out and take something. And fortunately, it can be at the time when you're just not ready. You can't do it. It's so fast. Sonic Fox is so good. Yeah. You cannot give him room to breathe when you're playing. When you're playing a bail band team, you can't drop your stuff, and you can't let him breathe. Like, it's just the way that Rabble's team is built. It's this round is pretty much a wash, and he's going to be one game away. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Sonic Fox is one game away from becoming Combo Breaker Champion once again. TJ won it last year, broke the streak, yeah. but he's about to come back, and he I, said, do you remember who is the best of this game? I thought this was a year for somebody else again when I saw Sonic say Rat Baby knocked him into pool, out in pools, knocked him into losers. I thought somebody else was going to be taking it this year. The momentum at the beginning of this is going to make all the difference in the world. Do you get the hit? Do you get to start yeah. your game? And there's a little bit of action there. No clean yeah. hit. Where is it? I'm actually a fan of this. Rabble playing slower, he's been losing a lot of these scrambles. Like, him playing safe, doing And the he's in now. Here's the mixes. Hey! Good. I'm okay with this. All right. He's, he's, he's not going for the hard confirm on that. Because you can't confirm without spending the Hey, nice little low reset there. He should be able to spend the meter here. I don't yeah, know, does he need yeah, yeah, he yeah, with all three levels of hype, he's going to need to spend all three hype, but... Yep. It costs all his resources, but he got the kill. Hey, Woo! there we go. No one does need to work with, though. He's got to do these quick resets. Oh, nice. Picked up the yeah. chair for the cancel. Very tricky there. Yep. He had the, he had the hype, so he could do it safely, but... Nice. Dropping all that meter for the conversion. And where's the reset? Yep, Ooh. but he's, he's not out. Ooh. He's not out. Unfortunately, the wall being right there meant he did not get out of that Yeah, one. again, like, he can safely get out mid-screen against Fugua. All right, so now we're two characters to two, but he's got incoming with full on Dizzy. Gets the hit. Tech's out. And Ooh. could not get another hit, so Good we're escape. back to neutral. I mean, this is like a 5-5 five -five matchup. Both oh, characters. no, but the clean jumping light punch does the trick and the reset right there. One more. There it is. And we're going to be able to see it. No. Wow. Oh, wait. Oh, no. He E-braked. That slide doesn't break armor anymore. If he would have let the brass knuckles rock, he would have gotten through. 
And one more hit only gonna take. Throws him. Yeah. One character left. This is it. This is it. Rebel Flagger takes the hit on incoming. This is not looking too good, but he drops the combo and he could get one more shot. This is it. One more touch and we have called this one. And there's the touch. He's going to build a meter while he gets out into the corner. And it is pretty much over. Sonic yep. Fox is your 2019 Combo Breaker Champion for Skullgirl. Let's Rebel Flaggers doing a hell of a run. Look at that young man, only 11 years old, and yet so, so talented. Uh, he'll be back next year, but once again, the Fox is dead. Long live the Fox. Uh, what can you say? Sonic's good at fighting games. I don't know if anybody's noticed this. He plays real good. I actually like, am really, really proud, proud of, of Rabble. I mean, unironically, no, no, no joke. He played I, amazing. I thought Rabble could have taken it, and he could have. But you know yeah. what? Sonic Fox is a is a career FGC yeah. winner at this point. Yeah. So I, he he had the composure that to was a, pull that back. To that, that was reset, all it was. It was that Sonic like. This is old territory for Sonic. He's used to fighting out of losers. Just knowing that you are one round away from going out. So, guys, it looks like we put the bow, tidy little wrap, on this, this year of Skullgirls. Yeah. Um, we had 2,000 people watch live. Nice! I wasn't checking the stream, so yes, I didn't see how many. We had, I've been watching you guys out there. Thank you all. The, We're, I, I, it touches me. 2.1 just now. Thank you for that as well. <laughs> I, I wanted to say something, guys, because we've been playing Skullgirls for a while now. You, Long, me, long you, time. Me, all of yeah. us together. I'm, I'm glad we're getting more people in. I was talking to new players. It means the world to me that you guys are here like, with, and Skullgirls together. Yeah. You, we're keeping me, the community together. together. All of us. It's, like, it's wonderful. It's like our skin is touching. <laughs> you know, but seriously, it, no it, it means so much to me that we can keep this going every year. We're not yeah. we're not a big game. No. It's really just the all of us together and I love you guys. Yeah. Thank you so all. Much. Thank you all. We love you. We appreciate so. it. Keep watching, keep playing. Yeah. And, and we'll see you I'm on Steam, on PSN. Yeah, we're going to keep seeing each other, guys. We're going to keep playing, so play with us. Yes. Thank you and good night. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>